guys, so welcome back to my channel, Creative Hands by Shea. So in today's tutorial, I will be showing you how to make a granny stitch blouse. So guys, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you for stopping by. I hope that you will love what you see and you will stay here with me. To my regular viewers and subscribers, thank you so much, guys. So I just wanted to elaborate a little bit on the yarn that I will be using today. So I actually went on Timu and I was scrolling through trying to find a good cotton yarn. And to my surprise, I found this one. It looked good on camera and trust me, when I saw it with my own eyes, when I got it, I was actually blown away because this is 100% cotton. It is very sturdy. It is even better than some other cotton yarns that I have ever used. So I would recommend using this yarn a thousand percent, trust me. Uh, so I will be putting the link uh, into the description so you can see this yarn here. I only bought uh, three rows of the blue and I and I bought um, one skein here of the orange. So I will be using these yarn and um, this Kobo yarn here. So because this is a, a, a lightweight size 3 yarn, I will be doubling this one. And it kind of looked like this one, but I think this texture here is better, I think. So I, I love the Kobo, but... I think I love this one more. So guys, uh, I will be putting in the description all the information that you'll be needing uh, to put this um, blouse together. So I have my 5.0 millimeter crochet hook. I have my darning needle and also my scissors and you will need a stitch marker. So I will be putting more information in the description so make sure that you check that out. So guys, let's jump in the video. So guys, I wanted to show you one panel of what I did before, and this is what it looks like. So you can see that nice texture of that yarn. You can see what I'm talking about. It is really cute. And um, so I did 18 rows of my stitches here, and I will be making the next panel in three different colors. So I wanted one color in just the royal blue here i'm just gonna call it royal blue because it does look like royal blue it doesn't state the name of the color but i am just gonna call it royal blue so i will be showing you how to start the square it is just one big granny square here so uh, you're technically not gonna do a lot of work you're just gonna start your square so what i'm gonna do is i am gonna start off with um i'm gonna start off with this one here or better yet let me just start off with the orange. So I'm just going to go in there and pick that out. Hope I find it. I actually found the blue one easier. So I hope that I will find this one quite easy too. Okay, I think I'm on... Let me try it from this side. Okay, I think it's on this side here. There it is. So, we're going to begin by um, chaining five. So make your slip knot however you feel comfortable. So this is how I make mine. I just insert my hook, wrap it around like a number eight and pull through. So now that I have done so, I am gonna go ahead and chain up five. One, two, three, four, and five. Now that I have my five chains, I am gonna go into this first stitch here and make a slip stitch. So now that I have my slip stitch there, I am going to chain two. And this chain two here counts as our first double crochet. You're gonna yarn over, go into that little ring there, and make two double crochets. So that's one and two. You're gonna chain up two, go back into the same circle, and make three double crochet. Mm -hmm. 
chain up two, go back into the circle, and make three more double crochets. That's two and a three. Chain up two, going to the circle, make three double crochet. It's one, two, and three. So now that you have your three double crochet here, now you are going to go ahead and chain two, one, and two. So you should have uh, four corners. So I have one, two, three, and this one here will make it be um, four. So now you're gonna slip stitch on top of your first double crochet. So not the chain two, one, but the first double crochet that you did. So now that I have done so, I am just gonna slip stitch there and chain one and fasten off. So that is, that is what it looks like. Now moving along, I will be using, I actually never, go ahead and pick these out. I hope I'll be able to find it. Okay, I did. I guess today's my lucky day. So I am gonna go into this one here also and Yep, I found it too. So I'm just going to double both of them. And now we are going to flip our work over. You're going to insert your hook and you are going to attach your yarn. Chain one, give it a tie. chain up two and that is going to count as our first double crochet yarn over go back into that space and repeat the same thing make two double crochet chain up two go back into that same space and make three double crochet one two and three. So now that you have your three double crochet, you're gonna chain one, go over into this space, and make a cluster of three double crochet. So that's one, two, and three. Chain up two. Go back into the same space and make three double crochet. That's one, two, and three. If you think I'm going too slow, you can always slow down the video or you can rewind to see what I did. So now you're going to chain one and you're just basically going to continue doing the same thing until you get back to this part here and I'll meet you there. So guys, now I have come to the end here and I'm going to chain my one and make my slip stitch. So I won't be changing my color yet. So now what you're going to do is you're going to turn your work and you're going to make a slip stitch inside our chain one space. Now that you have done so, you're going to chain up one and two. Remember, chain two counts as our first double crochet. You're going to yarn over and make two double crochet in that space. So that's one and two. You're going to chain one, go into your corner and make a corner. So three double crochet. two 
and three, chain up two, three double crochet to complete your corner. So now my, my corner here is completed. I'm going to chain one, go into this chain one space and put three double crochet there. Chain one, go into the next corner and make a corner. And basically that's what you're going to do right around, repeating the same steps until you get to the end. So continue doing that and I will see you at the end of this round. So guys, now I have come to the end here and I'm going to chain my one and make my slip stitch on top of my first double crochet. and I am going to change color again. So I slip stitch and then chain one and fasten off. So I will be putting on the screen the color combination of how I will be putting these colors together so you can follow. So now I'm gonna change to my blue here and this is what I have left over. So I actually use one skein uh, and some out of this one to make that first panel so this is what I have left back so I'm just gonna show you again how to um, join your your color so just turn your work around insert your hook and attach your yarn chain one, give it a tie, chain up two, and then you are going to go into that same space and make two double crochets. So this is like our increase uh, part here because each time we chain one and make a three double crochet there, it's increasing your square. So basically you're doing the same thing over and over again until you get to the desired width um, that you are making. So if you are making it bigger, you can measure yourself and once a square goes across your shoulders or um, however you, how you feel comfortable in um, your top to be on you then you can stop there but I'll be stopping at 18 rows and then we can proceed afterwards so chain one going to the next chain one space here and make three double crochet chain one going to the next space and make three double crochet so you can see that our square is getting bigger chain one, go into the next corner and make a corner. So I'm just gonna continue doing that. And as I stated, I will be putting on the screen the color combination so you can follow. So I will see you when I get to my 18th row. You see how pretty that color looks? That royal blue looks so pretty on there. So I'll see you at the end, guys. Remember to chain your one each time you finish a corner 
or finish a chain three to go into the next space. So guys, now I have come to the end of making my 18 rows and I'm just gonna do my last slip stitch here. Chain one and fasten off. So um, this is what I did. Uh, so I did um, four rows of the blue and I did four rows of the um, brown here. I did um, four rows of the orange. I did um, three rows of blue here and so on from the front. So this is what my square looks like. So what I am going to do is, I'm just gonna show you from the previous one, I went ahead and I put two rows of the brown here and this is gonna be on the side um, part of the top here. So I'm just going to show you how I attach the yarn. So you can basically do it any side you feel comfortable in putting it on because all the sides are measured the same width. So I am just going to put it here and make sure that it is on the right side. So this is my wrong side, my wrong side here. Sorry I was off camera. And this is my right side. So I am going to attach my yarn here at the end. Give it a tie. Chain up one and two. Go back into that same space and you're gonna make two double crochet. One and two. Chain one, go into the next space and make three double crochet. And that is what you're gonna do for the entire part here and once you get to the end I will meet you back there so chain one going to the next space and make three clusters of double crochet so I'll see you at the end so guys now I have come to the end and I'm gonna make my three double crochet and chain two, turn your work, and you are going to make uh, another row of this same thing. So you're gonna yarn over, go into the next space, and make three double crochet. So one, two, and three. Chain up one, go into the next space, and repeat the same thing. So continue doing that and I will meet you at the end. So you can go ahead and put the same thing on this side here. This is the side that we are going to sew together. So that's the reason why I'm adding this color here uh, onto the side. So once you're finished with this row, you will add two rows on this side as well. So I'll see you there. So guys, now I've come to the end of making my um, two rows of um, brown on each side and I went ahead and I sew up this side here. I leave a little split. So I counted, this is our chain two that we did before. So from our chain two to our um, um, three double crochet, so that's we skip one, two, and three, and then I put my stitch marker into our um, chain one here. So that's where the um, split will start or stop. 
Uh, so that's a split there and I'm just going to go ahead and weave in that afterwards. I went ahead and I did some slip stitch up the side here and I did one row of um, granny stitch right around here for the little sleeve. So it's like going to be falling off the shoulder just a little bit. So it's not a lot of sleep. If you want to put more rows, all you have to do is just continue going around. So I'm just going to show you on this side how to do it. So I am going to um, start from here. So remember the chain two. So we're skipping one, two, three, and we're going to put our stitch marker here. And then we are going to get our yarn. We're going to join the yarn into our first double crochet here on onto the other side as well. So insert your hook into both parts. And make sure that your square is on the side that you want it to be on because um, we are we are actually um, sewing the squares together on the right side. So make sure that it is on the right side that you want it to be on. So I am just going to attach my yarn here. And then now that I have attached my yarn, what I'm going to do is, I'm not going to chain one, but just go into the next stitch and do slip stitches right up to the top so not exactly up to the top because we will need to have our sleeve uh, arm all area there so I am going to slip stitch until I reach to that part and I'll be I'll meet back up with you so guys now I have come to my last um, set of double crochet here and I'm just gonna do my slip stitches so I did a total of seven uh, clusters so one two three four five six and seven so now I am at my last slip stitch there so what I'm going to do now we are going to go ahead and sew up um, we're gonna sew up the sleeve or we're gonna make our sleeve now so what we're gonna do is we are going to slip stitch into the chain one so just insert the yarn underneath and come up and instead of slip stitching we're just gonna do a single crochet so now that we have done our single crochet there we're gonna chain one two and we are going to um, yarn over and go into that same space there and we're going to put our first three sets of double crochet so that's two so our chain two here counts as one and then two double crochet chain one go into the next space and continue to do clusters of double crochet Chain one, go into the next space. So you're gonna continue doing that right up to the top here and then I'll meet you back there. So now I have reached to the top and now I am going to chain one because we did our cluster there. We're gonna go over onto the next panel here. And basically what we're gonna do is we are just going to yarn over and make three double crochet make our cluster again so that's one two and three chain one and go into the next and just continue doing that until you get to the end so now i have come to my last space there and i'm putting my three double crochets And we have completed our sleeve. Now we're gonna slip stitch on top of our first double crochet. So not the chain two, but our first double crochet. And close that off. You are going to um, chain one. 
and fasten off. So now that we have done so, might as well go along and sew this little part up here. So it's going to have a little tiny space, or probably not. Uh, yeah, so we don't have a little tiny space there. So what we can do is we can just go ahead and weave this tail end in, into that little tiny space there. So it doesn't matter where you put your needle as long as you are weaving in so it's not going to show. I'm just going to go under here. And you can you're going to do this for all of your weave in just insert your your needle into places where it's not going to show so now we are done making this uh, sleeve here so remember i had finished my first sleeve this is my second one so if you have not done the other one as yet you can go along and do it so now what we are going to do is we are going to uh basically we can use this little um, tail end here just to sew this little part up and then we are going to use the blue to do the rest of it so I am just going to go ahead and quickly sew this part up and then I'll meet back up with you guys now we are going to do a little uh, sewing here so I count one two three four four uh, clusters so this is where we're gonna stop and on this side it will just slope off your shoulder uh, just a little bit so I'm just gonna insert my needle here going into both loops and I'm gonna leave just a little bit of tail so I can have it to sew in afterwards and uh, if you want to use your your um hook to do this part you can uh, but I'm just using using my needle so go ahead do some in and out stitches just to close this part up and once I am through I'll show you what it looks like I'm gonna continue doing that then I'll see you there so guys now I have come to the end here of sewing this part here together and I'm just gonna insert my needle again to make sure that it is well sewed and there it is so all you have to do is weave in the remaining part so kind of just as I showed you before kind of just go inside of your stitch and weave in your tail end This, side, this top actually can wear on both sides and you can wear this top for this color part here. You can wear it for the front or you can wear it for the back or you can wear this part for the front uh, either way. So I'm just going to go ahead and move this in a little bit. So now that I'm through weaving that in, I'm going to remove my stitch marker. And there it is guys so technically our blouse is now completed so there's a little sleeve so it's looking super cute so again if you want your sleeve to be bigger you can go ahead and add more rows and if you want it to be like a longer sleeve to make it look a bit puffy you can add that to it uh, probably later on I will try something like that but for now this is where I am going to stop and I think that it is looking super cute so you can tell me what you think about this little top here with my little um, split here at the side so it's looking super cute so you can wear it on this side or you can wear it on the other side so I'm just gonna turn it over so you can see what it looks like on the other side as well 
so there it is it is all looking nice and flat so you can still wear it on this side and it is looking cute just the same on this side so it can wear on either side so this is it guys uh, thank you so much for watching uh, if you want this top to be a little bit longer, you can just go ahead and add more rows. So I'm just going to um, do the measurement and tell you what the length and the width is. So the width is actually 20 inches wide. And the length is from the top here, downward. It is showing me technically 19 inches 19 so guys that is it uh, for this top so I hope that you love it and uh, come and tell me what you think and thanks again for watching until next time bye